Hello and welcome to this review of Glory by Noviolet Blawayo. It's a book that has been published this year and the book is set in a fiction African country called Jidada or as it is called in the book Jidada with a da and another da and the citizens of Jidada have been under an oppressive regime for the last 40 years and they cannot seem to free themselves from the shackles of this oppression and so the seat of powers hold on power is preserved by the reign of terror of the defenders and f the book has a very strong opening i felt and i thought that the events that occurred especially at jidada square where such an important juxtaposition for what is an equally important future which unfolds in the book and there's a lot of disparity in how Jidadans live and how their rulers live it's quite clear that Jidada's rulers are very rich and they literally levitate in wealth and spare no expense while in places like Lozike situations are very dire in the sense that people even do not have water their fuel prices are high they have to queue for basic uh, commodities and people c at one point sort of resort to what i would call a night economy where things are done in the night because that is when power is available so you have a situation where welders are welding at 1 a.m and hawkers are selling the stuff at wee hours of the morning it's also very ironic in Lozike that there's a teacher who is encouraging their students to read to obtain the value of education while he has abandoned the classroom and is now hawking bread and so such is the life in Judada and in Lozike is where we meet a very I felt important character who is destiny who i think makes a very timely appearance in the book and she's returning from abroad and i felt that by following her we sort of got to experience jidada on a very personal level and so we we, we kind of saw jidada's gruesome past and its present and most certainly its inevitable future through her and I think that some of the most profound moments in the book are from being with destiny and th the moments she shares with people. For example, one of for me, at least one of the most profound moments was with her and her mother, which I like to call the moment of scars. And there's also another moment that uh, quite impacted me. It's with destiny's uncle and his father in 1983 which i think is a very defining year in the book and um, i felt that Novalet wrote this book with such emphasis and it became poetic that it was very difficult to forget what was important and i sort of found that her portrayals were also very very true and they were borrowed from reality and I, s I found myself holding up various uh, real life events in very very many African countries and holding them up to the light and the lens that this book kind of provided and um, I felt that this book is I would say the book is about discovery it's about um, spirituality and how it intertwines with politics love among very many other things so the book is a table which i think i should have told you in the start and i felt that was s uh, what gave the book an edge i think that that kind of inflated its entertainment value in a good way because I thought that if these were human characters, it wouldn't have had that entertainment value that it holds being a fable. And 
you know if while reading it you kind of forgot that it was animals you're dealing with you are quickly reminded by you know the appearance of paws and hooves and horns and phrases such as moles and females instead of males and females and i thought that even though they were animals she did well to preserve their animal nature because of the things they did that even though they spoke human languages and did human things you got this feeling that these were really uh, animals we are dealing with and the book reminded me of from its humor and its style it reminded me of the death of comrade president and it also reminded me of red buds by mohammed hanif and i felt that the glory in this book belongs to Jidadans and it sort of eludes them numerous times and instead it's you know it becomes a reservation of the rulers and it's sort of passed on from one uh, to another tossed around like some sort of personal possession like an inheritance and um, uh, apart from that it's basically a very good book and I would recommend it to anyone um, yeah so my my favorite phrase from this book is there isn't a night too long that it does not end in dawn and yeah so uh, thanks very much for uh, watching this I hope you enjoyed it if you hope and want to enjoy more of these reviews please subscribe you can as well comment your suggestions comments are welcome uh, if there's any book you'd like me to read and review please leave it in the comments as well thank you and see you on the next one